Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome to your mid-month reading. Let's take a look and see what are the vibes in love, Aquarius. So, how is this person feeling about you, Aquarius? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. Mm. How is this person feeling about Aquarius? This person really wants to move forward with you. This person wants to communicate with you. This person wants to like travel with you. They're very attracted to you here. I feel like this person is, um, I feel like they may be planning to come towards you, Aquarius. You're on their mind here. I feel like this person, uh, they kind of feel like you're a bit out of reach a little bit. Or they're thinking like, what could they do to make you happy? What could they do to like, maybe someone's an introvert and they're trying to find a way to pull like someone out here. Oh, this person may feel like you're not reciprocating or you're not opening up. Or maybe Aquarius, this is how you're feeling about someone. But I get this vibe of like, I really want to talk to you and I really want to know what's going on in your mind. Someone here is very curious about you today. Yeah, <laughs> this person is so curious about you, Aquarius. Like they want to know like what, you know, what do you like? What do you like to do? What are you thinking about? What are you, what are you processing in that mind of yours? It's like they really, you. You really caught their attention here. All right. Especially with that page of cups here and the page of swords. Uh, they, they want to know what it would be like for us to actually have a future together, build something or what it would be like to actually get to know you. OK, so this is someone here that really wants to get to know you here. They want to know what's going on with you. They want to know why communication has like slowed down if it did. Um, but there's a lot of curiosity. So they're questioning like, wait, what happened? You know, what's going on with you? Where have you been? What's on your mind? Do you still like me here? Are you still interested in me? Are you still interested in us here? All right, let's get some more on that page of swords energy here. Let's get some more in that page of swords. I do get this energy of I want to be close to you also. There we go. The moon, that mystery energy. What changed? Something must have changed here. Something must have shifted here. Um, could be a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or a, um, a Pisces as well, or a Cancer. OK, but either way here, I feel like someone here is a little nervous about where this is going. They're a little nervous about this connection because it's actually making them like feel a lot. And it's making them it's making I don't want to say obsessed here, but someone here feels a very deep connection with you, Aquarius. And they're not sure what to say, what to do, how to proceed is what I'm getting. All right. I don't know what to say to you. I, I do feel a very strong pull, a very strong attraction towards you. Um, and I've been dreaming about you. I've been daydreaming about you also. Like I daydream about us. I daydream about um, what we would be like in the future. But because that moon energy is there and I want to clarify why the moon is there. Let's see. We have the moon and the high priestess coming out twice. We have the high priestess coming out twice here. Someone here may feel like they're in the like they're in the clouds, like they're in the unknown space. Like they want to get close to you, but it's like you're not letting me in. Maybe this person feels like you're not letting them in or again, remember, this could be the roles could be reversed, okay? So this could be you Aquarius where someone's like, "Come on, open up to me. Talk to me." Right? Say something to me. All right? But I feel like this person could be in their head about a conversation that happened recently or like maybe the two of you encounter, you know, came together and they're still thinking about that moment. Let's get a little bit more. Something could be significant on the 18th for some of you. Um, the 18th or the second or even the third. Oh, God. Or even the 23rd here I'm hearing. All right. Yeah. Someone here wants to know how you feel. Like, how do you feel about me? How do you feel about, you know, allowing me to love you, allowing me to court you? I keep hearing like you have no idea how much I'm attracted to you or how much I feel for you here. This person could be slightly shy to some degree here. How is Aquarius feeling about this whole scenario going down? How does Aquarius feel about this? All right, so you're attracted to this person as well, but you're still trying to uncover some truth. Someone here could be a little guarded, okay, okay, maybe because, again, this person could have kids or someone's guarded because this person just came out of something or simply because I just don't know enough about you to really step into this space here, 
All right. Someone here is also feeling some type of way because they were intimate too quickly. I'm hearing if not, someone here is just saying, I want to take it slow before I get there. All right. I want to take it slow. I would like to take it slow here. But again, I get this vibe of Aquarius. Maybe you're moving forward with this person, but you could be in a space where you're really protecting yourself and you're being cautious. Right. I don't feel like you're you're like I don't feel like you're pushing this person away, but I feel like you are moving at your own pace. Like I don't want to move very quickly. I am attracted to this person. Show me more with Aquarius, please. Ah, there's a runner energy here. Someone here could be in a runner state here, like trying to find things that are wrong. Like I'm trying to find Maybe, I don't know, maybe this is wrong. Maybe this won't work. Maybe this person won't like this. Maybe, you know, this person will hurt me. Maybe this person doesn't make enough. Like all of the above, like someone here is really thinking of reasons to protect themselves. Like I'm thinking of things to protect themselves here. What sort of actions could we expect moving forward in this connection? Oh, someone here has, oh, wow. For some of you, again, you know, this confusion may just put us in a place of just being independent. Okay. So I feel like there's like a deeper conversation that needs to happen. If not, look at this Ace of Swords. We need the truth here. Two of Pentacles. Jeez. Someone here is like really confused about how they're really feeling about this. Should I give this another chance? Should I give this a chance? Should I trust this? Should I move forward with this? What should I ultimately do when it comes to this connection? I just feel like someone here is very concerned about where this may go. Um, and we'll get some messages from spirit here. I just get for some of you, you're you're in a space where you're saying, you know, maybe I should just focus on my finances and not, again, focus entirely into this or, you know, in this connection. I do feel like for some, one of the things that has really put you on this journey or this on guard journey or protective journey is you're starting to notice that someone here and this is what you may be noticing someone here is like really submerged into themselves like they've shown you some signs of maybe a little bit of selfishness or very self-absorbed and you're wondering like if i were to do open the door of romance here would this be something that would stop would this be something that would change okay so, yeah, someone also is wondering, like, is this person only materialistic or is this person actually emotionally um, available? OK, we did have the two of cups come out here, the judgment. Some of you are it could be a Libra. Some of you are actually going to realize that this person actually has some sort of deep emotions for you. There could be like a culture difference here where it's like maybe a race difference or again, something something very different between the two of you. Okay, overall energy for the future with Aquarius and this person that they're vibing with. Let's get a little bit more, please. Ooh, traveling here. The two of you actually learn how to make this work. All right, the two of you actually find a way to make this work. You could be traveling together or while you're traveling, this person stays in contact. Someone here stays consistent. Yeah, someone here is like, I feel like this person becomes confused as well. Spirit, any advice in terms of this two of swords here? Give us clarity. Someone's an overthinker. Let's get some more, please. Ooh. Listen to your intuition. Be open to starting something new here. Okay? Be open to starting something new with this energy. Someone here, it's like once it starts to actually move and work and actually uh, start to pick up on that momentum, you start asking yourself, like, is this something that I want? And I feel like this person's actually going to show you and your intuition will come in too. again, confirming exactly what's going on here. But I do feel like for some of you, you're going to realize that this person's very serious about you, very serious. And we have the Empress twice. All right. This is a lot of self-care. Uh, you know, my advice, honestly, right, if you're someone and you're like, I don't know where this is going. I'm a bit nervous about this. Focus on yourself. I always say focus on yourself. The more you focus on yourself, the more you'll realize who really wants you. Again, not in a selfish way, but focus on yourself. Focus on, you know, how does this person make me feel? How does this person, you know, pay attention to me? 
How does this person show up? How does this person invite me and, and plan things? Remember, people that can't plan dates and plan and plan things, can they plan a future? All right? For the feminine energy here. All right? Allow someone here to plan. But I do feel like there is a lot of forward movement here. Okay? But to clarify this two of swords, you'll know this could be like a same sex uh connection here, or the both of you are in your feminine or the both of you are healing your feminine energy. All right. But there is something about a lot of emotions coming to the surface here. I wouldn't be surprised. All right. I love you, Aquarius. Have a beautiful one. Like, share, subscribe. If you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below. Have a good one.